All right, we're, we're gonna do the Q&A video. So I don't think I've ever done this video on my channel before. I think I might've once, I, or filmed it once, but I don't think I ever put it up. I don't really know, but we're gonna do it. So I went to my Instagram last night and told you guys that I might do one to ask me questions and you did. So I'm gonna answer some of them, but before I get into this, a couple of things. Um, one, I think this is gonna be a long video because I'm gonna try to do no editing. And I have this cold induced asthma thing going on, so I might be coughing here and there. The second thing is, is that I feel like I really wanna explain something and at least put it in one central video because what happens is you know you gain new subscribers and you know obviously maybe you don't watch all the videos so you're naturally curious and you get asked the same questions over and over and over and um so i really want to take this time and i i have said this here and there but again like i said i i want to put this in one video I completely understand the natural curiosity to know about someone, especially someone that puts themselves out publicly, but it's not a requirement. Um, I don't have to put out everything. I, you know, my blood type, my social, um, I, that seems like extra because no one asks that, but it sometimes it just feels like um, you're under a microscope and everything about you has to be known and um, that's just not my style that's not how I'm running my YouTube channel uh, YouTube can be for anybody that's why it's called YouTube so if you want to start your own channel then the beauty of it is is that you get to decide keyword you <laughs> get to decide how you want to run it uh, there are all kinds of crazy unique random unique uh, channels out there there are people that you will never see their face uh, you will only see their hands whether they're opening stuff or they're um, cutting soap um, ASMR there are people that take on a fake character kind of like Miranda sings and yes she does also have like her real self on YouTube too, but she cho she chooses to do that. And um, there's a girl that I think does mook bombs with a blindfold on, blindfold on and covers her face, or like I, not even a blindfold. I don't really know, but like you can only see a portion of her face. And my point is, is that the YouTuber gets to decide how they run their channel. And yes. I do pick and choose what I share and sometimes I have felt like I've overshared for myself and it seems weird because I am a very private person but there's so much about YouTube that I like but I, but I have to remind myself that I get to decide what I want to share and what I don't want to share so um, I also have to accept the fact that people are still going to ask anyway but I'm just letting you know that this is how I'm running my channel. I don't need to divulge, divulge every information out there, um, every single thing about my daughter or every single thing about me. Um, I, I'm picking and choosing what I want. Sometimes I am vulnerable and I'm okay with sharing that. Um, and sometimes there are days where I, I clam up, I lock down and I wanna share nothing. That's just how I am. It's not a contradiction. It's just how I am. And I think I'll always continue to be that way. Sometimes I open up, sometimes I don't. And that's how I'm gonna run my channel. And if that's not something that you need out of your YouTuber, there's a lot of YouTubers that put out their whole lives out there, raw, everything, go for it. Um, it's just not my style. And I, I think a lot of it stems from my childhood because I, I, my 
my birthday's Christmas and I remember as a kid I absolutely hated um just having the attention on me which sounds bizarre because here's all of this attention on me but I'm obviously older now so um I I feel like because I get to pick and choose what I'm saying I have the control that I need for myself if that makes sense but when I was younger I never really liked people singing happy birthday to me because I didn't like the attention on me and I'm I'm assuming I don't know if I'm right or not but I'm assuming that maybe a part of that is why um I guess I am the way that I am and so I just want to be very clear with that and let you guys know that it's not that I'm ignoring what you're saying. It's not that there's anything to hide. It's that I pick and choose what I'm comfortable at because I don't, there's no requirement. There's nothing that says when you sign up for YouTube that you have to say this and you have to say that. And you like, that's not, no, that's the beauty of YouTube. You run it as you see fit. And um, obviously there are like, you know, certain guidelines um, that can get you banned, but you can't get banned for not wanting to share personal things about yourself. So, um, and I get the natural curiosity because I'm the same way. You can't help when you're a human being, you just cannot help but to be curious. And, but that doesn't mean that just because I get that, that I'm going to just share to satisfy that, if that makes sense. So I hope that you, um, I hope that you understand where I'm coming from, but that's how I'm running this channel here. Uh, I also think that, I don't think that I'm necessarily, this is going to sound awful, but I don't think that I'm necessarily relevant to, um, especially on my main channel, because I think that my channel is about the content and not so much me. So that that's another factor of, of for me, like I just don't wanna get too personal because it's it's not so much me, but so much about what I'm passionate about. And I think those are two separate things um, in my mind. Now my vlogs, I've actually said that my vlogs are about me um, because I don't share anybody else, but what I'm also referencing is that it's about like what I'm doing. So yeah, so anyway, okay. All right, let's go ahead and get into the q and A. I'm not at all surprised by what what I um, what y'all asked at all. <laughs> um, so again, because I'm trying not to edit, I hope that you you get yourself a drink and you relax and you grab a cozy blanket because I'm going to try to answer a lot, but we'll see. Okay, so the other thing that I am not going to do is release who asked me the question. Um, so I guess you'll just maybe know if it's yours or not. So the first one is, what will you do when you reach a million subs on YouTube? P.S. I love you, boo. I love you too, B. Um, I, I, I try to be really positive, but I don't know that I'll ever get to a million. Um, my channel grows pretty slowly, I think. Um, but I know I have to be patient with it and, but I will say this, I'm getting close to 200,000 subscribers and I've been thinking about that lately and it, it's, that number is like a million to me, I guess. And it will be so crazy that I, I can't, I don't think there are words to describe how crazy that will be to have that so many people watching me um so i'm trying not to get overwhelmed um but yeah if i were to i guess to to really answer your your question of a million if i were to get to a million i don't know i honestly i wouldn't mind if my channel just stayed in the smaller bucket um because i think a million just 
I think that's a lot. I think YouTubers that have that many subscribers, it's a lot. You're constantly under the microscope. Videos are, are made about you and it's just, I mean, any wrong move, it's just, it's all, it's intense. So, um, and, and I, yeah, yeah, so I don't, I don't know, girl. Um, if you could invent something, what would you invent? I, that's an interesting question. The weird thing is, is that whenever I think about this question, I don't, okay, I think I might have one. Um, I think it would be cool that if you read a book, like if you went into the library or you went to a bookstore and, and bought a book, that it could come with some sort of like USB chip or something and it converts the book into a movie. Why did I just say that? Because I could patent it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure like eventually that will, that will be a thing. And I've never heard anyone say it, so if it ever does, we all know it came from right here. Um, would you like to have more children in the future? No. <laughs> um, I was a single mom and, and single like in all the aspects. I didn't have any help financially. I pretty much didn't have any help physically, like just taking care. It was always me, day in, day out, and your girl's exhausted. Plus she's 19, so the way my mind works, because I had my daughter so young, um, I never got to experience being adult, and um, I wouldn't want to start over. It's just not for me. My daughter is all that I need, and so there's that. How old are you? I'm 38. I just had a birthday. However, I am telling myself that I'm 33. I'm telling myself how old I feel rather than how how old I actually am. And I I believe that when people say you are um, the age of like how, what you feel or however that saying goes, I truly do believe that. Because you could have someone that's 38 that looks younger, that looks older. Um, and at the end of the day, I think it's all about how you feel. Um, so just 38, but I'm also 33. <laughs> um, okay. More ghost stories, question mark. No, I don't know if it's because I've been, um, just so distracted by, you know, everything, my daughter being at college and running my YouTube channel. I, and then Christmas has, you know, been really keeping me distracted. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, there, there are, all the things that I've talked about were very bizarre things that I don't think, like that should have an answer, but don't. But I don't have anything recent. I've been trying to just keep my mood light and it keeps everything light around me, if that makes sense. I'm trying to just be positive rather than let my mind go into this scary place of a something here and then that makes it feel dark. So I've, I've just been keeping myself positive to keep the home around me positive. What made you start going to Dollar Tree? So I started going to Dollar Tree right right when my daughter was born and it was because of the the pricing um everything was a dollar and i was i was actually turning 19 um a couple weeks later and you know i just i didn't have all the all the money um to buy certain things at walmart or you know and dollar tree was that place that you could go and really let let your dollar um go a little bit further so i so yeah i it was because i was struggling and i i still love dollar tree because of that and um and now it's just grown into this love and slight obsession and i'm okay with it um are in dallas with you I'm not sure what that question is. 
Um, sorry, but I don't know what that question is. Probably a silly question, but would you ever think about doing a shopping meetup with people who... Oh, are in Dallas with you. Oh, it split your, it split your, um, your question into two, and it actually put are in Dallas with you as, like, the first one, so got it. Um... I've never, I've never thought about myself as a public figure. Um, I'm, I'm slowly catching on um, that that's what happens as your channel grows, but I still don't think of myself that way. So because I think that, I can't imagine that people would really ever want to meet up with me. So it's never been something and I've, I have talked about it before because I've been asked to do meetups um, but still it's just like okay but if I did really one of you would show up not that that you know would be bad but um, so but no I've never thought about it if you could have a dinner with anyone celebrity or non-celeb dead or alive who would it be okay I have okay um, I would love to have dinner with Kelsey Grammer. You know why. Uh, I would love to, who, I gotta think about this. Um, Robin Williams. Yeah. Um, Joanna Lindsay, which is, yeah. <sighs> Joanna Lindsay, I mean, I could just imagine us sitting there talking about the Mallory's, drafting out, you know, future family trees for her novels. Um, that was a really good question. Uh, do you deal with, do you deal with any anxiety? If so, how? I do not. I've, um, I'm very thankful for that, and I, I just, I'm not sure, I, I, I can't formulate, um, an opinion because I'm not, I'm not a doctor on, like, why or what makes anxiety happen. Ever favorite Starbucks drinks, favorite movie, favorite, favorite Frasier episode, there's a lot of them. Favorite DIY, I need to come back to that one, so let me think about that. Favorite Dollar Tree find ever? That's a hard one too. That's hard because there are so many that blow my mind. Um, favorite Starbucks drink? I drink a caramel macchiato, but they always get it wrong because I want the whipped cream and caramel drizzle like they put in the cold version, but I want it in the hot version. But whenever I say, please add the whipped cream and caramel, they whip something and it's just never right. Um, favorite Frasier episode, so easy. And it's called Frasier Crane's Day Off. It's when he's sick, I die. That episode gets me like none other, but if you've never watched Frasier, it might not be that funny to you because you would have to really watch so many episodes and seasons to find that funny because you really need to get freight. You really need to understand Frasier's character for it to be hilarious. Um, favorite DIY, so back to favorite DIY. Oh. I'll tell you that my favorite DIY that kind of got me really excited and dreaming about future DIYs was when I made those picture frames with the plaid scrapbook and then I put those gold Dollar Tree deers um, on the front. I was just, I was glittered over my own DIY and uh, it really made me excited. Um, I also keep thinking about, for whatever reason, this one keeps popping up in my head, but for Valentine's Day, I created this, um, like, a multiple picture frames, and then I put hearts in them and then glued all the frames together. I really loved that DIY, too, because it, there are times where when I do make DIYs, you're like, okay, yeah, it came from Dollar Tree, but that one was so chic that I was just like, okay, I just... 
Um, I also really loved my Halloween candy bowls. Really simple. I put like skulls, but then like sour worms and stuff. Um, I really love that one too. <coughs> okay. Can you do a Valentine's advent calendar for Valentine's 2020? Please love your videos. Thank you so much. I, I've already made advent calendars for Valentine's Day. So I don't know if you know that or not, but it's out there. I made 14 bags. I did the same concept for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, and I really love my Valentine's Day ones. So I'm excited to use them, but I'll actually be sending them to college in the care package. I love your declutter and clean out videos. Do you think we will see more of those in 2020? Absolutely, you will. Um, I know I didn't emphasize on that, but we will. Are you still planning on moving? If so, when? I guess I, I, guess I was waiting for that, so. Um, and that's back into the declutter clean with me videos. Yes, I've been talking this about this for a little bit. Um, actually, I stayed here longer than I than I definitely thought I would. So at this point, I'm just ready. I don't need to be here anymore. Really, it was just based off of zoning for my daughter's high school. She no longer goes to high school, so I no longer need to be in the area and I'm ready to move on. So yes, I will be moving. I, haven't, I don't really know um, any specifics other than it will be happening this year. And because of that, I know that there are going to be declutter videos, cleaning videos. I'm going to take you guys through the whole process of packing and my tips and tricks. I even did it in the last house. I did like a Dollar Tree packing tips and tricks. I'm probably going to use a lot of the same ones um, in the future and uh, all exciting things. So, um, yeah. Are you doing any Valentine's Day crafts? Yes, I am. What is your number one favorite book? That's that's a hard one because that's like me having to pick and choose one from Joanna Lindsay. I'm looking up at them, that's why. Um, that's really hard because some of them are just... I don't know. I would probably say I really love Man of My Dreams, but I also love The Joining and I love The Magic of You, which I think has Amy Mallory and Warren Anderson as the characters. Um What program do you use to edit your videos? They look great, thank you, and I use Wondershare. Are you going to move to Florida? So, I wanna do like a whole video when I do like the move out to explain all that, so I don't wanna dive too far in, into this, but that is still the end game, and not maybe even necessarily Florida, but somewhere in that southern east coast. I, I'm doing this like you know what that means. Um, but I'm seeing like the, the US map and Florida's over here <laughs> and the East Coast is over there. So that is that is the goal, um, but it's not gonna happen right now. And there are a lot of reasons why I changed my decision, um, but I will be talking about it all in, I, I guess whenever whenever I know what the moving situation is, I will be doing a video and talking about what my plans are. When do you begin putting Christmas decor away? Usually, I don't last very long after Christmas. Um, I've, I've basically put it up in November, um, and then it's up all November, most of November and all of December. So um, afterwards, I'm kind of ready. Um, so I've never really trickled Christmas into January, so it basically goes up, goes away before January. Second favorite author, we know who your favorite is. Fave is. <laughs> um, <laughs> you do? Um, that's a good question. I would probably have to say Sarah J. Moss. Her Court of Thorns was on a level of genius that blew my mind and honestly makes me jealous. 
pros and cons of being an empty nester. Um, the pros are that your house is no longer messy. That's a huge pro. I can't tell you what a difference. It just blows my mind. And it's just me and her. I clean, less laundry, less everything. Uh, it's quiet. She's always having, like she's home still. She's always having friends in and out. And Loxy just barks every time. Every, and not just when they come in. And she keeps barking even after they come in. And then Loxy changes her bark too. And she just, I think Loxy has a little bit of anxiety and she just has this piercing bark that she changes into. She first goes from the mean bark the protective bark until she sees them and recognizes them and then she barks for this like panic and it's every time and then not only when they come in but when they come down the stairs and then when they leave and she's got Frick coming in and out and it's just it's exhausting and so the pros are when she's back at school no one's doing that um and it's so nice <laughs> um the other pro is that i i don't know i guess how to explain it but i i just i don't have like that responsibility obviously she's my daughter i'm responsible so i still feel like responsible for her and so i i always check up on her i'm always making sure she's okay but it's just i don't know how to describe it you know it's like but she's still having to be her own adult and figure things out too. So it's it's been nice um, getting to see that, okay, I don't have to always worry because now she's starting to like learn, take care of herself and, and all of those things. <coughs> um, the cons would be that I don't get to see her and I don't get to hug her when I wanna hug her and I worry. I worry. I, I, I worry even when she's home. I just worry. I stress. I can't sleep until I know she's safe, whether she's in this bed or her college bed. Um, I just, and I'm trying to do this thing in 2020 where I, I just calm down a little bit more, but I, I worry to the point of sometimes I get sick. Um, current favorite new food or drink? Uh, um, I don't know that like, I just have so many foods that taste so good that it's just, I can't compare pizza, burger, a steak, um, pasta carbonara, you, you know, I can't just pick one. I can pick one dessert that I can do. And that's tiramisu favorite drink. I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to cut back on my ginger ale. Um, so that's that. Okay, let's keep going down the line here. Where do you find your inspiration for your DIY projects and can you do more of them? So, some it's a kind of a combination of two things. One, I'll look at a space and I'll think, you know, I kind of want something like this here and whatever like just kind of pops up in my head and then I'll try to recreate it using Dollar Tree materials. The other thing that I love to do, it's almost like a challenge. I love to see what like Pottery Barn puts out or um, Kirkland's or something like that. And it's this challenge and this thrill to try to recreate it with Dollar Tree materials. Um, so a lot of my inspiration comes from that. And also Instagram, it's such a great place because Instagram's all about pictures and um, that's where my mind goes every time I see something like I wonder if I can do that with Dollar Tree stuff um, uh, You must stay so busy making videos. What do you do for yourself by the way I watch them? Thank you so much um, I, I'd have to say YouTube is what I do for myself um, The other thing I guess that I that I do is read books um I just I love the hominess of 
of what I do about my YouTube channel. And so I, I love that. So th that's what I do for myself is YouTube. Um, what's your favorite place to shop? Uh, that's, that's a little vague. Cause again, it's like, do you mean like, um, a clothing store or a specific specialized store. Um, my favorite place to shop is Dollar Tree, I guess. At the end of the day, Dollar Tree. What are pocket letters? Pocket letters are uh, crafts that you can make and in a commu you could even go to communities where you could, like Facebook communities, where you can get like pen pals, if you will, and you exchange your addresses and you send them goodies and pocket letters is where you take those sheets of baseball card holders and then you fill each little pocket with goodies and little things um when your daughter finishes college college and finds a job will you move to the area to stay by her i don't know because i don't i don't basically we'll talk me and my daughter will tackle that whenever that happens um, so it's hard to say, but more than likely, probably, <laughs> but <coughs> let's see, I'm just going to read some of these. So far, they're all the same thing. <coughs> Why do you say you're going to throw up decorations instead of put up? I laugh every time. I don't know. Um... I don't have a question, just wanted to say I love, love, love your videos, you rock. Thank you so much. Um, do you ever get lonely and your home it seems so big? No, not at all. I, I've, it's interesting to see um, over the time people saying it's too big, it's too big, but though, that's an interesting comment because for me it's like, well, can you imagine if we were all bounded to a specific home based off of how many of us there were then it would no longer be a free country and um i think do you and i'm doing me how do you save money to spend at dollar tree well uh as i love dollar tree so it's a passion of mine but it's also a job um when you have a youtube channel and you would you would most likely under you would definitely understand this if you had a youtube channel but it's also part of my job. It's part of my branding that I've created for myself. Um, so I spend that money for my job. Um, and I still save money. Um, okay. Besides Florida, which we know you love, where's another place you would love to vacation? Am I that transparent? <laughs> I'm a beach person, so uh, I would not find it enjoyable to do anything cold um, on vacation, so uh, just a, a beach, pretty much wherever that would be. Got a boyfriend yet? <laughs> There's actually several questions about dating and a boyfriend. Um, the answer is no, because I do not want one. Uh, I've been you guys have only ever just seen me single but oh my gosh girl most of my adult life i've been in relationships and what i'm what i've been learning being on my own is that i love this so much more i just do and i'm sure i will date um but i don't know that i'll ever be married um because i like my life the way it is um New Year's resolutions or goals, I don't, I have never been a New Year's resolutions person. For me, I don't need to wait until New Year's to, to do that. Not that people do that either, but uh, I, if I need to make goals for myself, I make them whenever I need to make them. Um, I would say that uh, a lot of the basic ones are just healthier, healthier eating. I, I, yeah, it's, I'm, I really love my life. I'm really happy. And I'm really grateful for everything. So I, there's just, there's not much else that I feel like I could ask for. I just want to eat better because sometimes I eat like absolute garbage. Um, so, okay. 
Um, what is the best Bath and Body Works scent you like? Oh, that's an interesting one. I don't know. It's I don't shop in that store enough to just for me to know exactly like boom right off the bat here here's the scent. I rarely go in there. Um, you guys know that because if I do, I share it with you. But um, I tend to prefer the sweeter notes. I don't like floral notes that much. And I have to say that fire fireside marshmallow, <coughs> whatever that's called, that one is really special. Um, but that's like the only one. <coughs> this is why I edit. And that's the first one that I that I can think of. Do you ever plan on telling us your name, smiley face? I do, sometimes, Marie. Um, when will you do some traveling? Ooh, that's a hard one. I struggle a lot with flying, which is bizarre because I used to fly all the time, no problem. I don't know what happened. I couldn't tell you. It wasn't like any one thing, um, but maybe it is and I, I don't know it. I. I was deeply like blown away and affected by the missing Malaysian flight. Um, so maybe that's me, maybe unknowingly, unknowingly. Um, but I, I struggle with that. And um, so that prevents a lot of travel where you need to, you know, better. I know that it's better to take a plane, um, but I do. That's not to say that I'm not going to get past that, but I do want to do some traveling. All right, so I feel like this video is getting super long and <coughs> my cough is now going to continue. So I'm going to start wrapping this up, but, and I knew, I knew that when I asked you guys to ask me q and A. I I was well aware of what the majority of you were going to ask me. So, let's see. What's your job? 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 Oh my gosh, just I can keep going. Um, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I I hope that you remember the first part of this video um, because I'm going to continue to run my channel that way but my job's YouTube.